Hi everyone, my name is Pichu Yang. Today I want to talk about the 12th class, which is about the starter class, Knight. Knight is a durable armor fighter, which makes fearless into melee combat. Charge your enemy to close distance, but if things get messy, your ultimate will restore your health and let you shut off splur with ease. This is mostly the two except the fact that the durable, durable armor fighter, because this game is all about uh, damage stack. It doesn't suit well if you go mid range like 2 million or 10 million HP build. It just doesn't work. The only class that works is Candy Barbarian, which is very niche build, like deeper stealth only. So, how to craft the knight? One chaos core for chaos chest, nothing to worry about. 1000 plus, easy. Mushroom chunks with 80. You can find this at Medieval Highland or Mushroom Enemy. 20 Enchanted Wood, which for fire for us. So, what kind of gear do you need? I have full link in the YouTube description below. You can click the 12 servers PYU10 Night Build. But I also demonstrate here. This is how the stat looks like. Which I have almost all dragon. Okay, not this one, sorry. Which I only left this this dragon. Which give non combat stat except three energy regeneration. So this is the most likely the maximum coefficient you can get for ASMS build. C4 AS MF MS C4 AS MF MS C4 AS MF MS This way I use Magify. If you use energy regen, you can jump and charge up to four times. This is the only difference because if you jump, it pulls your energy regen. That's why I rather use Jealous Amber. I just don't find the energy regen to be very appealing, but this is how it looks like. Jump, charge, 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 five times. That's the only difference for the majority of the part because you are drinking Jealous Amber and charge and charge over and over again. So how to charge? Do not use class jump because this class jump it will turn your charge into range attack, which will kill your only momentum, worse than Neon Ninja farming. So no, the empower I use is Cupid Cotton, Explosive, Paladin, and Vampire. This one is essential for all farming class. This one is for protection if you don't have ultimate active. This one is for reliable splash kill. Especially if you kill a smaller minion, it will splash and kill the boss as well. So the jump stat is all about PD, CD, CH, but you balance the boost without putting any on the CH stat. If you ever need CH in early game, you can use Tone Racer subclass, CH Ring, CH on weapon, or Shield Strike Emblem. But my jump foot is five four seven eleven. The cosmic jump is all on light. It's all about the mistake, as I said earlier, because this is how the game works. But recently, the recent patch introduced this diverse public death for each respective class. So. If someone want to go mid range night build to go for this contest, I will be highly expecting, but not likely because this is how the game works. It's all about kill the enemy because before they can kill you, and you trigger emblem effect. Sorry, this jump effect to heal yourself and the ally effect to heal yourself, and you made the jump. As you can see, this is U10 top side. What is the difference between farming in U9 and U10? U9, the mobs are weaker, 
which you can kill the Veg mob in much easier manner. Veg mob has 100% chance to drop a load, and your magic fire will basically allow you to load Stella as frequently as possible, which gives 2500 plus. This is how you earn plus in late game with your patron status. And you just use the flask to buy the patron over over again. Which is very expensive. Like 500... Like 550k. And the patron costs around 850 credits for 15 days. I will leave the calculation to you, but my main purpose here is not to show off how bad my English and how my tooth grow, how my rabbit tooth affect my speech, but rather I want to show off you about the night class. Because many players they use Dino Tamer to farm or New Ninja to farm. New Ninja in this Death Stepper, Death Stepper patch basically. Your backflip, you get shuriken charge. Your blackflip, you get shuriken charge. Ah, sorry about my accent. And this is what you get. It looks very powerful. Some people say it's OP, but I will demonstrate a few dungeons for you, with you. The main problem about New Ninja is about the hitbox. The hitbox is mostly focused on forward, forward. Forward. The horizontal hitbox is just not so strong because the basic attack is not very strong and the hitbox is not consistent. You can see the pattern already is not very consistent. And it has speed advantage because it's ninja, but If you want to snipe boss, you really need to get your mass charge shuriken by charging it on mid air and try not, not using it in something else. I cannot one show with status play because my gear is not maxed on this class, but I can switch over and you can see something different. Static Black is as strong as Night Basic Attack, which is 250% PD. So, why farming U10? Because U10 drop Crystal Level 3, which is Crystalline 10 cores, 10 Crystalline cores. 1000 cores is needed to mask a C4 gear and any upcoming C5 gear which is not announced yet so your job is basically okay do you see that this is why I hate using sugar because it sometimes you just mix because this is how the sugar works it just fly like this kind a certain pattern that that you don't really like, I don't really like. It's not about my aiming skill is poor, it's about because the ninja constantly move at very high speed, so if you try to shoot shuriken while you move very fast, you basically just struggle. You have to almost like static and do not have a very poor latency in order for your shuriken to hit as much as possible. Which why some player rather use Dino Tamer because Dino Tamer you have a very high frequency basic attack. Your high frequency basic attack basically is 130% MD splash damage. If you hit directly, it will up, it will plus plus 250, which means 250 plus 130 magical damage. You can see there are multiple damage number because this is how the how the damage works. You don't need a very powerful jump in order to farm effectively, but the main problem is the latency to register your C4 
single target damage. You have to hit the bot right on the center in order to register your damage. If you don't, you might want to try use Arcade Emblem to maximize your splash damage. Which is why I prefer Knight or oh, oh. Because Knight, you don't really have some kind of stupid RNG or latency issue. It's just very straightforward. It goes very fluently. So how to use the ability? This one is your basic attack. It has a very solid hitbox. 250. If your coefficient is like 6.7 million and around 8k light, you can one shot the range mob. No RNG, just like that. Just latency issue. Your charge is your momentum. Momentum, charge, charge, jealous, charge, 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 jealous, charge, 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 jealous, and you refill with conjurer crucible or throw origin bottle potion, which is crafted at Avenger Crafting Bench. The cost is not very expensive. Because one bottle is like 40 plus only. And you can go back to refill. If you do not have conjurer, you can use other flasks. But I think I said too much already. I should start demonstrate something. So I have installed a lot of mods, which I will link below. But most important part is about the plus income per hour. I usually don't like to debate with other people about plus income per hour because it's really subjective and you are human. You sometimes need to drink water, go to the toilet or something like that. And if your FPS is not very high, you might want to use Melty trading. This one can cause crash very frequently, which is very annoying. Because if you crash or switch to another world, the UI here, the stat like dungeon per hour, the timer, the flash per hour, all will get reset. So I go back and reset it again and come back. So usually I will prefer to farm in near empty map because if you farm at 10 player map, it usually just lags. Lags very terribly. And I am from Malaysia. I am Malaysia Chinese, in case you don't know. So my asset is not very good. Just now, I talked about the solid basic attack and the charge as your momentum and your boss knight. So what does the smash at ultimate do? The smash is basically your downward momentum which is very tricky to use and I rarely use it. It's just too tricky to use. Ultimate basically just heals you, instantly heals you, which is your protection if you cannot kill mob to heal yourself ASAP. So without further ado, I think I should start farming for an hour and see how it's going while playing some music and explaining some things. Let's go! Boss Knight. Charge cannot kill 3 star boss, but it is enough to kill any 1 star boss.
So you want to find next dungeon as LP. You charge. And you kill anything that gives you loot because you want Stellar Gear for the Flux. And if you do not have a very big bag, you have to load collect very frequently. The Night Hitbox is very easy to manage and very easy to control compared to other class. That's why I always think Night is very viable to farm. But some players think it less of any extra movement speed, so it's very hard to be used to farm. But Kill Count plus Dungeon is very important in Stellar Farming. And I mean Stella plus Crystalline Core for me because we really want the Crystalline Core. You don't know what kind of content that in future inside the club. Maybe C5 gear? Who knows? Maybe you need 10k cores to do something. If you have better latency, you should do much better than me because playing at 300 latency is not a very nice thing. But I am from Malaysia and it is what it is. And I earn when 300 plus loaded without alternate account 8, which is pretty good. Many people prefer to skip, go towards the boss, but I go to 3 star dungeon because sometimes you can get a lot of gear drop inside. And it gives you more stellar than just going to boss only. You spawn to mark where you gone.
This legacy is still legacy, sometimes won't register your stuff, which is very annoying, but if you use Dino Temple or Neo Ninja, we will hate it more, trust me. Especially if you are an Asia player, because you cannot enjoy a very good latency unless you move to Western country. This is some very occasion where I will use M2 because of the stupid bounce pad. And most important part about farming is you want to enjoy it. You don't want sub RNG or latency to ruin you. That's why I chose Knight because it doesn't have some major things to influence you. And also why I don't really debate about plus income per hour, but if someone asking me how much I farm with Knight, well, here's the thing. If they want it, just accept it if they don't want, just ignore it. As simple as that, because I cannot control on how they want to play this card. And you will be the one to decide whether to use Knight to farm or not. If you charge, you can keep your momentum and make it really well. Explosive Epilogue is very powerful because if you kill the mob from where the chest is spawned, it will lower down the chest HP, which means you, it takes less hit to open the chest. If you struggle on 3030, you can try use Ultimate because it heals you and gives damage reduction. Even if you have insane speed, sometimes you will struggle in navigating certain sections because the terrain of all dungeons is not evenly, it's very, really rough. That's why you have, you want to have more control on your class rather than less control on your class. If you have most control on your class, you can optimize your movement really perfectly, even though you don't have any MS advantage. Some 5 star is very tricky to go but some of that is very really rewarding due to the inhabitants inside the dungeon. This is the dungeon where Neo Ninja will suffer because the turret is so uneven that 
Neo Ninja cannot optimize his, his attack in here. Very easy, you don't need to prepare your Shuriken charge, you just charge. There's a difference between Knight and NN. If you use NN, you have a lot of things that you need to prepare before you can do something. The whole Shuriken mechanic. It doesn't work well for Asia player because you have poor latency, really bad latency. Like. 200, 300. Always check your back so you don't overflow with the gear. We feel as frequently as possible. If you have multiple buffs, you can just move without charge because Okay, let us see. Thank you. Origin Potter Potion. We fail. No, look at that. 1C3 here. Chinaba and Robotic Tom are good thing to farm. Bomb is very cheap, so don't be afraid to spend them. You will sweat a lot if you focus on farming because you will really focus on where you want to go and how you execute ability. Now it's really good at this because it's just very fluid. It connects everything together. I am not doing any quest in, do in order to show off you this flux counter. This is for a mod. And they made a lot of outsource mod like SO Death, the simple, no tappy, no hoods. It's just a lot of player. You should check to server sometimes or Steam Workshop depends. Remember, you want to enjoy the grinding. If you do enjoy the grinding, there is no purpose to use Knight, to use DT, to use Bear, whatever plus it is. Because you just want to enjoy the grind. If you don't enjoy the grind, you don't have the efficiency to farm. Right now, I am actually opening a music bar because of copyright, the stupid copyright thing. I cannot show you. But in case you are wondering, I am playing the official AVS. AVES Initial D album, you should check it out. And uh, sometimes YouTube posts the audio, which really helpful. Thank you, thank you. I started at 4 minute mark, so maybe I will stop at 1 hour and 4 minute mark. That's a lot of footage. And sometimes you might want to avoid this dungeon because the spawn generation is really stupid.
Candy Barbarian sometimes is more helpful than Lunar Lancer because it has only 50 second cooldown. Lunar Lancer has 30 second. And despite this Candy Barbarian subclass has 50% RNG, it's worth it. It gives much more MS. It definitely worth it. Worth more than Lunar Lancer subclass in my opinion. Because you can see I trigger the buff very frequently. Even though it's like 50%. There we go again. The speed candy again. Which is really helpful the moment I clear a dungeon and I want to move to next part. It just go really consistent over over Lula Lancer subclass. I don't use Fire Captain because Fire Captain don't provide any utility bonus. Some people might depend that the cannonball is really helpful but the speed candy is much more helpful. It just go really fluently like it just connect pretty well and you are using a knight a really balanced class in terms of execution and speed but in Toast servers it only rate it as 4 star in terms of farming which is pretty sad It should have 5 star because it just connects everything pretty well and you might debate like it's boring you just spend the charge but not really it just connect everything really well which why you want to have farm if you farm with ninja but it's not fluent and you feel annoying then it's not fun to farm and you don't have the maximum efficiency because it's annoying to farm that's why i highly suggest to try night first if you don't like knight and you still want ninja, Revenant or maybe Dino Tamer, you can always switch later. By the time you want to switch, you already found a lot of gems from this kind of world. And you can use the gem to make your next farming class better. Which is why I highly suggest knight. Because you can get knight ASAP without having to wait Sometimes I avoid this dungeon because if it doesn't have a hole, I have to jump very long. Right now it's only 500k because it's really early on like 20 minutes only. There is a lot of lag if you don't use Market Quest and we are using old gen CPU like i5 instead of i7. I am using i5 600, 6400 in case you don't know. But my graphic card is changed because my old one, the fan is already died so I have to change. So my GPU is basically better but CPU isn't.
Remember, I have latency disadvantage and the Magic 5 Pro is really RNG. Sometimes you get more stellar dots, sometimes you don't. So if you are not happy with the number, and you are not convinced, then ignore this video. But if you just really want to know what kind of class is fa fun to farm, then maybe you can consider watching the rest part. Because the rest part I will just focus on farming rather than speaking a lot. So many shadow, so RNG. There is a lot of lag because I will not use the mountain trading. I also do not go to some dungeon because it's just annoying.
I hate this dungeon. Nice. Oh my god. Mouse net.
I usually will prefer to use multi trade to farm because the performance will be much better but it just crash a lot. Really easy to one crash because this is tough.
Oh no.
Oh no. Crap.
Four minutes left. I will stop at one hour and four. No, I hate this one. Okay. Ah. <sighs> 
Six hundred and twenty nine K. Oh, interesting. I am lazy to call basically. You see, if you don't use multi thread, the performance is really, really bad. It's like you must use at all means. But it also means it will crash very e easily. And my latency is not really great, so this is what it is. It's what it is. So here is my star, in case you are wondering. It's basically from Tyson costume, which I draw a fan out about. You can find it on Tosawa. So, anyway, here's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.